Ryan back with another tutorial and today we're going to talk about how to fix the iPhone error 4013. So what this error is often kind of referred to is when you plug your iPhone back into an iMac, um, MacBook or any Apple device uh, that your either your iPhone is outdated and isn't able to restore properly or your computer is outdated and is not able to back up your iPhone support. So we're going to go through some four options that might be applicable for you and talk about how to do those. So let's start with uh, option number one, which is turning off our firewall. And for some reason, this can allow or actually um, inhibit our, um, our iPhone from updating. So what we're going to do is when we have our iPhone plugged in, we are going to go to our little Apple logo on the top on MacBook. Go to System Preferences. And then go to profile or security and privacy. So once we click on that, we're gonna go up to this tab here and click on firewall. And as you can see, it says our firewall is on. So what we wanna do is turn this off to allow plugging in our iPhone to not be blocked or any data um, be inaccessible. So what we're gonna do is gonna click lock to make changes. I'm gonna punch in our info real fast. And then click turn off firewall. So once that is off, we are going to actually lock, press the lock in the bottom left corner again, and exit out. Now, once you've done this, give it a second, then unplug and replug your iPhone and see if error 4013 comes back up. All right, so say that didn't work, what we're gonna wanna do is check to make sure that iTunes, or in this case, music nowadays, is updated. So. Um, we're going to actually go to our app store. So I'm going to go to my little eyeglass tool, type app store. And I'm going to kind of, it's probably going to open me on the discover page. But what I do want to do is on the left, go all the way down to updates. And here it says there are no updates uh, that are ready or needed for any of the apps I have downloaded. So um, sometimes you'll see that that music or iTunes, whatever you know version you have, uh, will have an update here. And what you're going to want to do is actually uh, click that update, download it, and restart the program in order to uh, have that be the case. So, but that's not the case. So we're gonna actually going to go to quit App Store and close out. All right. From there, our other options. Um, one of them is actually just going to go to restart our MacBook and our iPhone. So you know, always go up to the little Apple icon. Click restart and it says restart computer now. I'm not gonna do that obviously, but you can restart it. It will kind of come back up and open again and do the same with your iPhone. But what I'm gonna check first before I do that is I'm gonna see if my Mac or iPhone needs to be updated. So what I'm gonna do on my Mac is go to system preferences once again. And then here we're gonna just type in software update. All right, I'm gonna click on that. And it's checking for updates. So it's gonna take a second and it's going to see if um, my MacBook can be updated. And if that's the case, oh, yep, here we go. So we got a pretty big update coming here. So if it can be updated, what we're gonna to wanna to do is upgrade now and then restart the whole computer once it downloads. And once we do that, we're gonna to try to plug it back in. But it seems like this is the case considering that um, both my iPhone and my MacBook weren't on the same operating system. So what we're going to want to make sure is that your both your phone and your MacBook, if you're on Mac, are both updated, and that should get rid of the iPhone error 4013. So thanks for watching. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel.